All right, welcome back to Comageddon. We are here at Geeking Out Comics at 2924 North Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. Today we are doing a Funko Pop review, and this nice collection is Billy's. So, Billy, why don't you show us what we got here? Tell us a little bit about the Funko Pops. Well, right now I've got a lot of the Walgreens exclusives. I've got five of them so far. Um, the only really rare ones I have would be my Django Fed I got there. I actually found him, re actually I rescued him from a, like not a garage sale, um, a flea market. He was just thrown in a bin with a bunch of random toys and he's an exclusive that came with the 3DS Star Wars game when it first came out in the box set. So, and how much do you think that box set's worth now if he was uh, unopened? And... Un unopened with the game, it goes for online about between $200 to $400. Okay. And him by himself online goes right between $25 to $40. So, Funko Pops are worth quite a bit of money. So, are these like the new Beanie Babies? I, that's what I'm afraid of, but I still love them and they're still cool. I think these are cool. The but I think these actually have longevity. Outside of the Beanie Babies, because... And these are what? These are essentially just... They're bobbleheads. So, some of them are bobbleheads. Some of them have the actual fixed heads. Like Vegeta and Elsa. These are these two are my wives. The heads move, though. Yes. They, they move from side to side? A little. Not, not There's not much. much give. Ah, okay. It's like you have the, the classic, which is these. Then you have your minis, which I have my mini Deadpool as well. Oh, <laughs> Gotta have my, my, my mini Deadpool. And then you have the rock candy version. Well, those are cool. Now, these here, I've seen at Walmart. Are those pretty much Walmart exclusives? Um, no, I've seen them at Target. Um, have they been at Target, Toys R Us? Toy, uh, not Toys R Us. Um, no, these aren't to Toys R Us have the die cast ones, which okay. aren't Funko made, I don't believe. Now, these aren't actual figures. I mean, there's no real articulation. Not they're, really. They're, they literally are just, they're just oh, bobbleheads. Yeah, just, okay. just basic bobbleheads. You got Deadpool there. Yep, he was actually my first one. Why are you being sticky? You get off of Taskmaster now. <laughs> you stay down. And that's another Walmart exclusive. So all the, yeah. um, is it, no, I see another one here. It's tar Target. So yeah. the, all these stores, uh, they have like ones you can only get there. Yes. So if you want to complete your collection, you need to go get, to go Target to... and Walmart. They mm -hmm. have them. Any, and, other, any other stores have exclusives? Um, Barnes and Nobles. Hot Topic. Yeah, uh, Barnes and Nobles. They have their exclusives. GameStop, Barnes and Noble. Um, pretty much a lot of the big stores like that have Walmart has their own exclusives as well. Now I can see these are all pretty much the same size, except for that big mamma jamma. Yeah. And tell me about the TARDIS here. Um, I found him at Fye. They have, of course, their own exclusive. There's two versions of the TARDIS. Oh, okay. Um, the one I have is the cheaper of the two. What's the other one? Um, this one here, it opens up. One of the, the doors open up, like out, like okay. we're going into and the store. I'm assuming they have Doctor Who Funkos. Yes, they have Doctor Who Funkos. So you you can actually put in there. So what's the exclusive? What's the exclusive the one actually folds in. You open it and it folds across. What do you mean it folds across? Like, um, like a, mm, trying to the best way. Like a crystal like box. A, like remember the old telephone booths? Oh, okay. Like that. Oh, oh, I see. So the, and this so, one just opens. So the doors open wide on that one. The other one, the uh, the, the doors kind of slide across, slide like the old, okay. like a telephone booth. They're like an accordion. Yeah. Oh. It's like uh, I'm trying to remember which one my first one was. I believe Deadpool was my first one. It's either. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. And the newest one I've gotten was my New York Comic Con exclusive, Katie Pride. Dr. Strange is nice and shiny. Yeah. Sp sparkly. That's the only reason my wife let me get him is because he was shiny. He was shiny. Yeah. She loves shiny objects. So, are these, um... These so what do you do with these? I mean, you just put... Do, you say so you leave them in the box, most of them. Most of them I've left in the box. Looks like they might be easier to stack. They are. If they're in the box. They, they, they really are it's easier to stack that way and display like that. Um, you can take them out of the box as long as you keep the box in good condition. It kind of looks like, okay, some of these I see, they look like they, 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 they stand pretty cool. There's no, no yeah. issue standing. And some of, them, some like, of them look like they have bases. Yeah. But now I'm seeing ones like Kitty Pride with tiny little legs and feet. 
How well would she stand up on there? I mean, because there's there's a little bit of, on the heads. You can tell it's a little bit of weight to yeah. these heads. I'm trying to think if there's one that's got small feet that stands up pretty good. I got one of the minis or not. See, I'm okay. I'm gonna say I'm, I'm talking like I know nothing about these Funko Pops. Yeah. I own 15 myself. Um, so, and I know I had the fourth Doctor, uh, Barnes and Noble fourth Doctor exclusive. Yeah. And he had tiny feet, and I did take him out of the box and stand him up, but he kept falling over because his head was so freaking. I put it into putting him back in the box, yeah, which, which is really cool. If you don't mess up the box, uh, especially the inside, you can still put them back in the box to yeah. display them. So, it's like there's, that's, and they got these little ones here. Uh, these three, well, uh, I've got all these of them. Oh, okay. I just killed Rocket and Rex. And then War and Machine. And I called War, I killed War Machine. Dude. Which he has a sword, and I don't remember where he has a sword at in the movie. But it's got crossbones, War Machine. Those are like Civil War ones. These are these are, these two are Civil War. These two are the Guardians of the Galaxy. That's a regular Marvel. No, that one's from Civil War as well. I don't know why he's over there. So uh, Silver Surfer we got in a random Marvel he's, box. He's kind of cool. Uh, what they, now what are these? They are Funko, but they those are the Mini Mates. Now those are there, those are actually articulated. Yes, these, these actually arms. these actually Thanks move. move. Loki. Does not have his cape anymore because a dog ate it and it made me mad. Is that explain and that's me? When, this is why you uh, don't have a chihuahua with toys. Yeah. Because they think well, everything why you is. Don't have a chihuahua. Period. There. They think everything is with toys. And these ones came out of the Batman versus Superman set. Uh, it looks like Bruce Wayne and Diana. Yep. And their evening the wear. Which I was really surprised I got those two. And then I actually when I got my first two Harley Quinns. Which one are your first two? Uh, the GameStop exclusive was, that was my first Harley Quinn. Okay. And then I got this one for free with it. Okay. You got... So, it was, it was awesome. You have two, you have... I have four. five Harley Quinns. You have four. Harley Quinn so far has been my favorite because there's so many different of them. And it's not like, yeah. it's not like Deadpool who just has a different the color one, suit. I think the only other Funko Pop that has any more than her would be Batman. <laughs> And well, as, see, as you can see, these could also count as part of the Batman Funkos because uh, they are the villains dressed as well, Batman. See, so. I don't count Batman as one of the ones that has different appearances it's because so many different costumes. it's just like Deadpool. All they did was change the color. Change the color? Well, yeah. That, that's the only... There's a lot of them that are just like this, but they're orange, green, purple, but yellow, so many people blue. people want all of them. Yeah, they want the rainbow collection of them. But like with Harley, you have the Evening Gown Harley, you have Inmate Harley... The Imposter Harley, the Animation Harley, uh, Suicide Squad Harley with the little mini baseball bat. <laughs> but there's there's so many of them. Like my yeah, favorite, and I like that they it looks like they have the Disney ones too. Yeah. So I mean, kids is something kids can definitely get into. Oh yeah, it's like the one that I want of the Harley Quinns is the Doctor Quinzel, which is a Walmart well, exclusive, and it's a hundred between a hundred and two hundred dollar Funko Pop. I'll tell you, I'll tell you the one I want. And that would be that one right there. That so far has been the hardest one for me to find. I found three of them in the past. You found four months. Three of them. That's more than I. And well, in four months, that's it. I, I can I, walk I, in I any store found, and I have found zero in four months. I can walk in any store and pull <clears throat> all of these off the shelf, except for the evening gown and the inmate Harley Quinns. So these do eventually. Um expire or go out of print yes they have the numbers on the kind of kind of like legos like the, the serial numbers they show like, like if, 81 if i get rid of him i won't have for black suit then i'm missing him still and i am a i like to have complete collections <laughs> see i'm getting the ones just of my favorite characters yeah if i get so. one i want the entire collection of them like the imposters is probably the only one i won't do just the because kind of cool because like I said there's so many like of them, Batman but there's so many of them the only ones I have the only ones I have not seen have been the poison ivy and the scarecrow are the only two I have those seen. are pro and those are probably exclusives no they wouldn't be on here if they were exclusives not true look at the because, Doctor strange one right here this was an exclusive it's on the back well no like but it doesn't say like this this is a comic this is what I'm talking about with exclusive Okay, like comic comics. Yeah, because see, she's not she's on, not the, on back. the back. No, these are limit. I'll take that back. Limited editions there are not on the back. That's what I meant to say. But I love collecting them. It's I don't like. I I, I am part of the Facebook community that buys, sells, and trades. 
I like to trade if I can. But would you like to trade now? If you want, we have. I have one right here. It is one that you uh, said you need, actually. Correct. Yes. And once I get rid of, I know which one you want because as soon as I trade him, <laughs> then I will have him, and I'll have to find him again. But it seems to be easier for you to find. Yeah. Let's so. see. With this one, I'll actually have. Actually, the only one I'll be missing out of this set would be the Iron Spider. Right. And I can find him again. Yeah. Because he's not part, like, see on the back here. Well, he is, he's the same one. Yeah, it's the same one. In fact, if you look over, I like, I want to show this real quick. This one glows in the dark. Yeah, this is what makes him a Walgreens exclusive. He glows in the dark right there. And see, like, with most Funkos, like, yeah, I'll just put him there and on top of Venom. No. Hey, bye bye, Scarlet. Hello, Scarlet. That sounds nice. 29. Haha, <laughs> made you do it. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a big fan you are. Yeah. Let's see, with most, like like this, you can still trade and sell. Now, he looks like he might glow in the dark. Yeah, is he, he does. Oh, yeah. I can't oh, really tell because, yeah, really. so. Yeah. Oh, no, we're almost, almost able to there. Can we put it back? Let's take him in the back room. Yeah. Take okay. him in the back room. We're going to go in the back room and play in the dark. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. We're going to go in the black. Right. There we go. Back room to the store. All right. There you go. You don't have to show it all. Right. So, see if he shows up on here. Like, he kind of shows up on there a little bit. You can kind of make out an image right there, a little image right there. So yeah. Yeah. He's getting brighter now. Yeah, he is. Yeah. You might be able to make him out a little bit there. So, that's so kind of cool. Yeah. It's, this is the Spirit Yoda. So, so Walgreens exclusive. There's, I like the little gimmicky yeah. features on some of these. It's like, but now I'm gonna have to find another twenty nine nine. So there we go. To complete the Walgreens set of the Marvel. Oh, my finger's not done. Uh, I still don't have any doctor, any doctors because I like the tenth doctor. Everybody likes this. I like Matt Smith. I can't help it. He was the, my the, my favorite one. You know where you go for a lot of those? Barnes and Noble. Yeah, I don't get up. That's the bad thing about living in Decatur. You don't have a Barnes and Noble. Well, I know you. I know you make your way to Springfield a lot. Yeah, go to that one. That's where I usually go. Yeah, I find a lot of the Doctor Who ones. So. Um. All right. Well, how much do these usually run? The um, normal price for a Funko. Pop. It depends on the store. Like, you can get them anywhere between eight, eight to twelve dollars. Okay. It's like these ones run a little bit more because. They're the, they're actually made of metal. Now, do do the exclusive cost more? No, no, no. They're the same price. This one may have. I think the Comic Cons do. Like I think this, Game, I think GameStop when they sell them, they'll sell them. No, for it's the same price as the regular. Twenty or thirty, really? Yep, it's the same price <laughs> exactly. as the, as every other ones. At, at the actual Comic Con, they do sell them more because they are limited edition. Okay. But that's the one thing I wish I could have. This is another year that I've missed. New York and San Diego, so, and I'll and I'm probably gonna miss Chicago and St. Louis again next year. Yeah, and, me too. And I'm not happy about that. Well, here we are. We have the Funko Pops. These have been going for quite a while too. These have been going for what? Probably close about uh, only about a couple years. Has it been only been a couple? Yeah, it's like okay. 2013, 2014 is when it started. Okay. It's like if you're gonna start a collection though. And you, you want to actually be a serious collector. You want to make sure, just like a playing card, just like a comic make book, sure. you want to have good corners. You want to make sure the box isn't damaged at all. And you don't... The only reason I got Agent May is because I love Agent May. And I got her for $3. And that's because I had to hassle them because they dropped, the person at the register actually dropped them. Now, see, I want to notate... And it made me mad. I want to notate, because I almost bought Agent May a couple times. Uh, these came out around the time Civil War came mm -hmm. out. Uh, so I want to notate, so the Agent May Funko Pops, there has always been some type of defect with them. Yep. It's in the box, there's been ones where her head um, has been in the package, but her feet have been hanging over here, yeah. up this way. Or... She's the most problematic. I haven't seen one now, that hasn't the, now, had a the Funko inside itself was usually okay. Yeah. But it's always some defect with the packaging. But see, with the Agent May one, they're exclusive Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. There's um, no other Funkos that go with this set. No. They have had an Agent Coulson in that, but I think it was with a set. Uh, the Agent Coulson, the and only one I've seen came, came, with, came Lola. With, with Lola. It was he the only one. 
But the only shot one time I didn't have the money for. Yeah, the only other agent I've seen besides Agent May and Colson has been Agent Thirteen, and that's because of Civil War. Thirteen. That was the uh, blonde girl. The blonde girl. Yeah. That his nurse or his neighbor that was a nurse. Yeah. That he kept offering that call for coffee to him. Right. In the movie, saying, "Hey, you left your your stereo on." That was Sharon Carter. Yeah. That was her granddaughter. Yeah, her great, her granddaughter. Yeah. All right, well, these are Funko Pops. This is John Wise and Billy. Uh, Shannon is getting this video. He will be posting it to come again. Um, I don't want to drive. I'm a sissy. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to drive. I've been driving all week. Oh, oh I've got to be an adult. <laughs> don't be an adult. That's no fun. So, all right, we'll be back with Comageddon in just a moment. 